Hi guys, so welcome sa panibago nating lecture video series. And this time, we will be talking about the heat transfer phenomenon. So this will be a part of our uh, unit operation course, okay? So first, let us begin by discussing what is heat transfer. Heat transfer is a thermal energy in transit due to spatial temperature difference. So therefore, sa heat transfer, Napaka-importante itong pinag-uusapan natin ditong temperature difference. So, this is our driving force for heat transfer. No? So, whenever there exists a temperature difference in a medium or between a media, heat transfer must occur. It flows or is transferred from a high temperature region to a low temperature region. So, our heat is transferred from hot to cold region, from higher temperature to lower temperature. So, have a look at this example below. So, let's say we have a stove and then we are heating a pot full of water. So, as you can see from this example, the stove produces a fire. And then later on, the energy formed in the fire is transferred to the pot. And then the pot eventually will become hot. Further to that, energy is transferred to the water later and cause it to boil. So, itong nakita natin dito, guys, is an example of the heat transfer process. And then later on, kapag ka nag-proceed na tayo sa ating mga discussion, we will encounter some terms such as the Q. This is what we call the heat rate. And this is expressed in terms of watts or joules per second. While kapag nakakita naman ka ng Q na mayroong 2 prime, this is what we call heat flux or the rate of heat transfer per unit area. So, sometimes you can see this as Q over A. And the unit for this is watts per square meter. And sometimes, guys, kapag nag-aaral tayo ng heat transfer, we will encounter some questions about what is the difference between thermodynamics and heat transfer. Well, we already have a video about this. So, kung interested kayo, pwede nyo i-check sa aming YouTube channel. And then, makikita ninyo yung aming explanation, uh, what is the difference between thermodynamics and heat transfer. So now guys, pag-usapan natin ano ano yung mga modes of heat transfer. So first, let us talk about conduction. In conduction, the heat is conducted by the transfer of energy of motion between adjacent molecules. Well, to make this easier to understand, conduction may be viewed as the transfer of energy from the more energetic to the less energetic particles of a substance due to interaction between the particles. So, from these definitions, makikita natin that there are involved molecular interactions, right? Higher temperatures are associated with higher molecular energies. And when neighboring molecules collide, as they are constantly doing, a transfer of energy from the more energetic to the less energetic molecules must occur. And we also need to take note that heat can be conducted through solids, liquids, and gases. So, balik tayo dito sa example natin dito, no? So, makikita natin from this uh, example, the heat from the stove is transferred to the pot due to direct contact. So, in here, meron nagaganap na conduction between our stove and our pot. In this mode of heat transfer, we will be using what we call the Fourier's law. Wherein, the Qx is what we call the heat transfer rate in x direction, and the A is the cross-sectional area normal to the direction of the flow. Ang key naman natin dito is what we call thermal conductivity. And this is a property of a material. So, so different materials have different thermal conductivity. So, ang thermal conductivity ng concrete is different sa thermal conductivity ng different types of metals. In here also, makakita kayo ng negative sign. No? We have negative sign here because heat transfer is in the direction of negative temperature gradient. So, as I said before, the direction of our heat transfer is from higher temperature to lower temperature. And then we also have dt on our numerator, which is the temperature in Kelvin, and the x on our denominator is distance in meters. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa aming YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. Another mode of heat transfer is what we call convection. It is a combination of heat transfer due to diffusion or the molecular interaction and the heat transfer due to the movement of the fluid, which is a bulk or macroscopic effects. 
Okay, so in order to understand this further, let us have a look at this stove wherein we are heating a container of water now. So what will happen is that water particles near the heat source gets heated first. So yung malapit sa ating heat source, yun ang unang magiinit compared with those other materials na medyo malayo sa ating heat source right here. No? And then, addition of heat causes increase of movement of particles randomly and empty space is formed. So, on this example, itong mga particles natin near the heat source, yan ang unang magiinit. So, so, it will move randomly away from the heat source like this. So, nagkaroon tayo ng empty space dito sa near the heat source natin. No? So, what will happen? Particles from far area move to fill the space. Okay, like this. And this process will continue until the whole water is hot. So, in here nakakita tayo no, ng combination ng diffusion muna, itong uh, molecular interaction natin dito. And then, nakita natin yung heat transfer due to the movement of the fluids. No? Now, we have two types of convection process. We have what we call the forced convection in which the fluid is forced to flow past a solid surface. So, in here, gumagamit tayo ng iba't ibang mechanical means such as fans, pumps, or others. And also, we have what we call natural or free convection. So, in here, fluid next to a solid surface causes circulation because of density difference resulting from temperature difference in the fluid. So, dito sa convection, we are using what we call the Newton's Law of Cooling. Wherein, our Q is still our heat transfer rate. Our H is the heat transfer coefficient. A is the area the fluid touches the surface. Ts is the surface temperature and T infinity is the surrounding temperature or the free stream temperature. And then the last one we have the radiation. The transfer of energy through space by means of electromagnetic waves. So unlike conduction and convection, there is no physical medium needed for its propagation. So for example, you can see uh, the energy that we are receiving from the sun. There is no medium between the sun and the earth, but still we are receiving energy from it. And also, uh, you are seeing people sitting near the fire receives heat due to radiation. So in here, gagamit tayo ng tinatawag nating Stefan Boltzmann Law. In here, our Q is what we call our heat transfer rate. And epsilon is the emissivity of the material. The sigma is the Stefan Boltzmann constant. A is the area. T is the surface temperature and T infinity is the surrounding temperature. So that's it for now guys and thank you for watching. So sa mga succeeding videos natin, ipapagpatuloy natin itong series natin about heat transfer phenomenon. So please follow yung mga susunod na videos natin wherein magsosolve tayo ng iba't ibang problems involving heat transfer.